Hello and welcome to the latest challenge from the MC Creators Challenges Group. This one's called, as it says here, Grave Intentions. It's a rerun of an old challenge called Different Ways to Die. Um, and this one, you're basically trying to get yourself killed in as many different ways as possible in 15 minutes. So that's before midnight. There's a data pack, as you saw me putting on just then. I've made one for Java. Aladrium is making one for Bedrock. And here we go into world for my first recorded attempt. And... Oh, this is bizarre, because this is a very, very lucky start. Being in the desert, there are a lot of ways to get yourself killed. So let's get underway and see what I can do. I can stand on a cactus. This should manage it quite comfortably, shouldn't it? Okay, come on then. In fact, having the cacti around is probably a good thing to be able to um, reduce your health uh, before you try and kill yourself so the actual killing happens quicker. That's what I thought anyway. Notice I've put a death counter on the right hand side. Um, it's not going to tell you what your score is because the score is the number of unique deaths you manage to achieve. Whereas this will just obviously count the number of times you've died. So here I am trying to reduce my heart a little bit before I run off and, and do the next death. I'm obviously not going to be the most efficient player on my first attempt here. Ooh, there's a hole in the ground there. wonder if that would be useful for another type of death. So I've, I've managed to get pricked to death and suffocated in a wall, or whatever it, it calls it. I'm going to try and drown myself, but it's inevitably going to take a long time because you have to wait for the bubbles to run out before you even start losing hearts. So let's just have to do a little bit of snorkeling without a snorkel. And wait for those bubbles to disappear. And now, boom, boom, and dead. Good. Right, notice we... Well, you will have noticed already, we got given a bed at the start. Um, that's so you can attempt to tactically change your spawn point. It's not so you can snooze the night away. And um, notice also in the middle, it's showing the time remaining until midnight. Right, more reduced hearts. So we've... We've had three deaths, and we're going to try. <laughs> I didn't manage to kill myself. <laughs> Frustrating, isn't it? Right, this one should manage it. And that's a hit the ground too hard, which it means I've fallen four bo four floor? No. <laughs> yeah, a short distance. Four blocks or less, I think it means. Right, so let's, let's change the position in which we do things. Try and reduce my heart just a fraction before I do this. But I'm not sure really whether I'm just wasting time here in order to gain time elsewhere, to be honest. Right, that's that's a respawn point set. And let's have a look at this um, temple that was in sight right from the start. Amazingly. Talk about having multiple ways to kill yourself. This whole thing seems like I've got... Oh, there's a creeper. Goody. Seems like I've got so many ways to kill myself. <laughs> the cre creeper got shot, but thankfully for me, didn't get killed. Um, otherwise, I would have had to get myself killed by the skeleton. But the skeleton may or may not still be there. I wonder if the temple's still there. There's the <laughs> probably a huge hole in it now. Okay, ten minutes still to go. And there's there's a skeleton still there. Whether it's the same one or a different one, it means I can get myself killed by it. So, yay, there you go. And the skeleton goes off to walk off into the sunlight and burn up. Back to the temple. Now, of course, the... What's up? I'm gonna, I've decided to move my bed 
nearer. Yep, if I'm going to be dying a few more times here, I'm not actually sure whether I am going to be dying many more times at the temple, to be honest. There's a, a couple of mobs. Um, I would like to get died, um, fell, fell from height, whatever that one's called. That's that's probably quite possible at a, at a temple, um, and the way I can do it is set my spawn point there, and just drop down here a few times. Yeah, it's a bit. Again, I'm probably naive at this point. Probably wasting more time than I gain. I think I think I'm trying to be clever, but I'm not. How many times have I got to drop through this hole before finally I'll get killed? Um, yeah, you really need to take some hearts off, go on. <laughs> it's just to ease my back against, um, that cactus. And off we go, up. This, this fall should kill us, and I should get, fell from a height. There we go, fell from a higher place. Great, now, what, what do we know about temples? We can make use of all the TNT in there as well because when you get blown up by a creeper it actually says blown up by a creeper whereas if you blow up to the TNT down here oh wonder what's in here <laughs> kabam it just says I blew up right I think you've used all of the, the death methods at the temple now so pick up your bed and off you go where to go what what's what's another death? I'm I'm kind of I've lost my thread at this moment, wondering Ooh Having a look at this ravine, wondering if there's anything lava would be the main thing, but nah, it's it's not a very lavery ravine. So let's go let's run over this way, see if anything comes into view that tempts me. Otherwise we're a couple of minutes away from sunset, so we we can get all the other mob types that are going to be coming out as soon as it's dark. So I'm doing all right. You know, not into double figures on the deaths yet. I think every death has been unique so far. But um, yeah, I, I wouldn't from from looking at when this was played uh, three years ago, this challenge. Um, the winners get something in the region of 20 deaths. Um, a good score would be somewhere in the teens. Um, less than 10, you're not doing wonderfully well. So if, if my run ended here, that wouldn't be a great... <laughs> Although it would be a, a fairly reasonable first attempt, I would, I would say. Um, I would be perfectly expecting it to be somewhere in the region of 8 or 10 if I'd spawned somewhere much less useful, like in a forest. Because how do you get yourself killed in a forest? You, know, you re really have to be inventive, don't you? Right, I'm off into this, this bit of ocean, because I'm thinking drowned. Um, if there are a few drowned around, or... Well, there won't be one here, but if they, if you can find a, an ocean monument, then obviously you can get yourself guardianed. So that's a, a really useful thing to do. Some coral over there, but I don't think the ocean goes deep enough for anything really uh, spectacular. So I'm, I'm really just on the lookout for a drowned. What's going on? Oh, fishies. Oh, look, pufferfish. Puffer. Yes. Please do me a debt again, Mr. Pufferfish. <laughs> He's not interested. He, he could just keep saying, go away. But I'm persistent. Come on, then. What what message do you get? Oops. No, you're on a half a heart. Right, come on, then. Do me. Slain by Pluff. <laughs> I really can't talk today. <laughs> but slain by puffer fish. I'll try to be very careful in the way that I pronounce everything. Oh look, a um, pillager outpost. 
I wonder whether I could get myself shot with a crossbow. Really is coming right down to sunset now. As I said, the, the challenge doesn't stop at sunset. You get five minutes, you get half the night to um, get yourself murdered by as many of the nighttime bad guys as you can. Yeah, can I start off? Well, let's, let's say my spawn... No, I jump out of bed quick because you do not want to be just laying in bed. I've made it in the data pack so that you can't actually sleep the clock round until morning. Uh, you just you just lay and shiver in the bed um, while the mobs come up and um, murder you. <laughs> so it is another way of getting it done. Oh, look. I'm Golem. You can... Why am I not being shot by pillagers? Where are they? Is it pillagers day off or something? Hello? Can he not reach me? See, this is one of the many ways in which I felt I was wasting a lot of time. And come on, guys. He's stuck. He really is stuck, isn't he? I have to step in there with him before he can kill me. Okay. But I'm, I'm closer so I can run back over there again. We're into double figures on the deaths. Oh, Mr. Zombie with a sword. Slain by zombie, that's a good one. So we're now up to 11. And I'm beginning to feel really good about this one now. Um, who else would I see now that we're into full night time? Um, still haven't found those pillagers. And I don't know why they didn't come up behind me while I was freeing the golem. Look. I, oh, the witch, but over there I think there might be some lava that I can use. Let's see. Come on, Madam Mim. Get get your potions on me. That's the trouble. I think she's, she's healing herself for preference over hurting me. And actually now she's poisoned herself because I was so close. The splash got her got her so i'm going to wait over here and see when she's feeling well again will she attempt to attack me come on then brilliant wow that really did the job in double quick time killed by a witch using magic okay there's another temple over there creepers i don't want i've already been creepered thank you as a some husks and a spider if I can get spidered, that's an extra one to add to it. I'm already up to a dozen on my score. So it's feeling really good. And we've got three, no, two minutes left. And now I've been spidered for number 13. Lucky for some. And what can we do now that time's getting really short? I want... Now, now you get into the stage where you're avoiding all the ones who have already killed you. Although I suppose you can try to, um, oh, there, there's, there's pillagers, look, pillagers, come back, what am, what am I doing? I'm running away from guys who could kill me. I think probably at this moment I've got my eyes set on that lava patch over there. Oh, or this lava patch here, is this a lava patch? Because that's a totally different form of death. But then again, aren't I just going to run out of time before I can get the pillagers to kill me? Only a minute to go. And it's a magma block death, which is discovered the floor was lava. Right, I'm, try I'm trying to get even closer, but I'm really getting desperate and running out of all of my time now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Can I add anything more to this? Look, I've got to try and avoid all these mobs. I don't... Oh, I have been killed by a skelly, haven't I? Yes. I haven't been killed by a husk. Um, I haven't done anything with lava. There's a drowned there, look. I do not want to die while the bed is in my hands because it's going to just take me straight back to... No, get out of bed. Where's that drowned? Come on, you can add one more in the last 20 seconds. Here you go, Mr. Drowned Man. Do what you can. Come on. They, they really aren't. They aren't bothered. They they, they haven't got the, their best um, murderousness on, I don't think. You need, you need to have the mobs ramped up to full damage. Right. 
Mr. Husk, you've only got three seconds, two seconds, one second. Oh, he didn't kill me because I went into creative because the time's up. And let's check. So it says I had 15 deaths. I believe they were all unique. I was pricked to death, suffocated in a wall, drowned, hit the ground too hard, blown up by a creeper, shot by a skeleton, fell from a high place, blew up, uh, slain by a puffer fish. Whoop, where is it? Uh, slain by an iron golem and a zombie, killed by a witch using magic, spider, discovered the floor was lava, and slain by a drowned. So that is my first attempt at this, and I've scored a very impressive 15. I'll be trying again. I hope you all will too. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.